Ironwood Games. This is Andrew. Welcome to our sealed cons of Tarkir. Uh, if you watched the last video, you know we built um, a Mardu deck splashing Siege Rhino uh, for the green. Uh, but everything else is Mardu white, black, red. Um, if you didn't watch that video, now you're up to date um, on that. We're playing kind of Mardu, got a decent amount of removal, um, trying to kind of get maybe a late Siege Rhino to win the game um, and do that. So let's get into the games. Let's see if we can't win a couple uh, for you guys here and see how we do. All right, let's find an opponent. I will say my head is... Uh, I'm going to set up my excuses for what I do poorly um, on that, but um, no, I, I like this format. I, we'll see if I remember how it works and, and playable. But my head is killing me today. Um, there we're still working on I don't know, finding the right medications or adjusting all of that. Um, this gives us all four of our colors. Obviously, we could start off with the Blossoming Sands. Uh, bring Low gives us some removal. It's kind of high, but I do like that we have all these, so we're going to keep this. Um, so anyways, the medication I was on or, or had wasn't doing great, so we're switching to another one, but... Uh, right now they're tapering that one down. Uh, let's play the black. No, I think we're on Abzan. Not that it matters, but it'll at least give them something to think about. And this is where we do have double red at five. We probably want to bring low um, the next turn. Um, on this. Uh, so we'll just play the planes. I don't think we need the, the fourth color yet. Um, but as I was saying, it's, it's one of the side effects of kind of this medication is uh, some headaches and some hope to be able to um, make any really big mistakes uh, on it. So we have removal. This is instant speed. I think we just blow up the face down card now. We don't know what it is and we don't want any surprises. Um, now we can, I think, Rotting Mastodon to hold down the floor. So, as I was saying, my headache, my head hurts. I hope I don't make any mistakes. If I do, I'm going to blame it on headache. Archer's Parapet. Our opponent has decent Abzan stuff. Um, I really like what they have. Smite the Monstrous is good. Uh, we have so many like options we can get rid of. One, two, three, four, one, two. All of this at instant speed. I think we wait until we have more things uh, to delve. The only thing I would consider um, the arrow storm can get rid of the parapet um, is the only thing because it's a sorcery but I don't think we're going to do that. We're not going to attack. Um, it, we need to attack in order to do that. Um, So our opponent's going to continue to outlast most likely, and we're going to sit here and kind of uh, a race. They're going to be... It looks to me like they're going to be content. Um, this trades here, so it gets blocked. I think we smite the monster. But if they're content to sit here and waste their turn doing that... We utter end the parapet before they just get to fire off a bunch of things. Yeah, so they'll get to drain us once. Um, it's exiled. Play out the land. Um, we still have Smite the Monstrous up. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have seven next turn. Um, we can start delving that pretty soon. Uh, no attacks. I think our opponent's uh, just doing... Okay, so they're splashing some blue for some 
card draw, that's fine. So yeah, I'll outlast again. That's a really good card. I don't mind them doing it. Um, I'm firing this off now. They could have Feet of Resistance, the one mana protection. Um, which makes this bad, but I want to be able to spend my mana. Uh, that does worry me, though, and I don't. Just getting hit with that is really bad. Getting a second smite the monstrous, though, not so bad. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. How much do we have to exile? Only two, so we can't do all that. So let's sit here. Let's get them to outlast again. Um, if we knew we were going to draw the second Smite the Monstrous, I probably would have fired it off last turn uh, to get the feet out of their hand. If, in fact, they have it. Ooh, that's really good. They might attack now uh, because this has lifelink, and that's a huge, 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 huge advantage for them. And I'm just going to outlast. Okay, that's fine. Um, this kills this. This kills this. Pass to attackers. Let's see what they do. Yeah, so we will smite the monsters now. Um, and that's good, because if they can outlast this, then we can start killing that as well. Um, we can also arrow storm it. Which I'm tempted to do just to get rid of it. Because it's a sorcery. They didn't have the protection last time. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Um, now how much do we have? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. We could Sultai Scavenger and start swinging in. I think we do that. Um, auto pay. I don't love that. Um, now here's the question of whether or not we attack for the free attack. We take three on the crackback, then we're attacking for five to their three. No attacks. I don't think it's worth it. I think we just start Sultai Scavengering. They didn't hit any creatures. Uh, okay. Um, man, that is rough. We have to start hitting in the air. Soon they're going to try it shot something, that's fine. In the turn. We are, we are dead to this. This deck has some really good stuff. Um, mandrels. Oh man, they have some good cards. Uh, do we just kill the Hooting Mandrels? Because we can. I think we do. We just have to fight take what we can. Throttle. We'll kill. DC. I think we do that. And then we sit here and uh, hope that we draw better than our opponent. Our opponent's gotten a lot of really good stuff. We've had decent things. Um, we have some good draws left out there. Um, I'm going to keep two cards if they do have um, the discard two. Yeah, this is going to kill us. Um, we need to not draw any more lands. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got ten of our lands. Oh, my goodness. It's, uh... Oh, wow. Okay. Mardu Charm is 
perfect because it kills Anafenza. And don't have feet of resistance. Yeah, that's unfortunately, if you've got the protection you've got. The, so they attack with both of these. They put the counter here, and that starts our slow. Or speeds up our demise. Okay. Yep, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, they go. Blanked us. Okay, we got a blood Not a good draw. I don't know what we have to draw that's great right now. Um, we have to block. Are we dead anyways? Yeah. The thing we can kill because getting to one more part, even siege right now, I don't think is enough at that point. Okay, that was a really solid deck for our opponent. So let's... Alright, carry on. Alright, game two. Uh, let's see. Maybe we can find someone with not, like, 12 bombs. Um, we did get some good rares. So, Khan's had a lot of good rares. Um, in it, Seals was a little bit tricky, because you definitely need um, some synergies or some things that work together. Um, and so, we had tons of removal. We got rid of all these things. They just kept drawing uh, into more things, which, you know, happens. It's unfortunate. We're not going to sit here and uh, feel sorry for ourselves. Uh, we're going to move on. This is fine. We can, even just with one more land, we can Siege Rhino. We can uh, Wing Mate Rock. I mean, based on what we have, these lands are really good. We don't have a red. Um, we could draw into some red cards and not do well. But uh, we're going to trust the process. And we like what we've got. We're going to start off with our tap land, gain a life. Uh, be ready to kill shot some things. Um, Alright, so maybe some Jeskai. Uh, maybe a Teamer. I don't know which I would prefer at this point uh, with what we have. They can both be pretty aggressive. Um, getting that red really good, but we don't need to play it. It's a small thing, and it doesn't really matter, but keeping our opponent from knowing that we have the red might make their plays just a little bit different. We don't know what their player is. Um, this usually feels more like a teamer card, uh, but again, it doesn't have to be. Bloodfire Expert is so bad against these goblins because it just kills them um so i think oh we can't black and green we need a black we need a swamp um to siege rhino because we're not gonna kill shot a one one um we have to play the blood fire expert because it's what we have um it'd be nice to see if our opponent has and maybe they're just red blue um, yeah I'm gonna take all three I'm not gonna trade my blood fire expert on a turn I don't have any tricks uh, it's possible we could kill shot with nothing better to do like next turn I would be happy to trade uh, well, I'd be happy to trade here and kill shot something or well take one of these kill shot the war name aspirant 
so just need that next land. Um, any land is fine. I don't want planes. Any other land, I think, is is fine to draw. Um, and then I don't need a ton of lands. We've got good action here. Uh, our opponent drew the white. They're on the little Jeskai now. Uh, Hexproof means we can't kill shot it. We would have to trade here. But I'm fine with that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Oh, that's not attacking. Ooh, they're so sneaky. Do we... I think we do, just because I need um, to use my mana and get rid of threats. I can't even take one. Um, we kill one of these, we eat the other, we take one damage. And now we don't have any creatures in the graveyard, so we look at maybe doing the same thing. If they only attack with the 1-1, one, one, um, we probably just take the 1. If they attack with anything else, oh, beautiful. They do have... Um, mana up, so we'll have to see what they do. Okay, resolve that. They want to return a creature to my hand. So that's going to happen. That makes the kill shot less beneficial, but we do get rid of the war name aspect and then uh, at least force them to have some kind of protection on it. That's fine, you can counter that. Um, okay, that's not the worst. We take four, because um, we're blocking the six drop. We can at least play Bloodfire Expert back out. I kind of want to play the Rotting Mastodon and use all of my mans, though. Because this threatens to eat more things. I think that's better than playing the Bloodfire Expert out. I don't have tricks anymore that I want to do on it. Um, face down card could be bad. Flying Vigilance, definitely bad. We can Arrow Storm that, though. Okay, there we go. Smite the Monstrous gives us options. Arrow Storm gives us options. Um... Good attack. Leave ourselves open just to get this guy down, because we can't. Three. We only have two open. We don't have a three, but we need. I think it makes more sense to play the blood fight that they know about. Not attack. We're willing to trade this for almost anything here. Okay. Yeah, attack in the air. That's fine. We'll probably arrow storm that this next turn. Maybe not. Because I'd like to be... So they just keep attacking with this if we don't deal with it, though, is the problem. That doesn't do anything. That's a sorcery. Uh, can they put enough up to it to kill my rotting mastodon? I think we siege rhino uh, to get the life. Uh, put another blocker on board and then um, it 
if they just keep attacking with this guy, that's fine. Siege Rhino can attack effectively next turn for Wing Wingmate Rock. Um, or we can hold up for some... Like, we've got options at this point. We're losing kind of quickly to the suppliers, which is why I really... I think the play next turn is nothing else. Yeah, that's fine. Can't be blocked. Back Brigade. Because we can dutiful return, so I think we attack with Siege Rhino. Because it has Trample. If you want to put up um, and try and like trade a couple of things, I think we get a decent trade in on this, or they take four. Um, Get our double flyers down. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. And then we get rid of Hexproof and the War Name Aspirate. The Goblin we don't care about. Done. Next. Second flyer to blank both of these guys. We're looking to die to Mystic of the Hidden Way. Okay, that's fine. Because we have Smite the Monstrous, we have Aerostorm. We have Ponyback Brigade. We need to get rid of the Mystic. Our opponents run out of gas. We have plenty of things. We just need to not die. So, I believe the answer is... While you have no cards in hand... I think we just get rid of this to the bit. I hate... Using all the things on it. Yeah, you can throw away the Scaldkin to kill the Bloodfire Expert. You can throw away the Scaldkin to kill one of these other flyers. Uh, no, you can't. Well, whatever block with here, yes, you could. Okay, I think... Now we hold up our blockers because we've got to protect our life total. That is the most important thing at this point. Um... Oh, perfect. That's not a good card for you. Um, it has haste and it has to attack. So that seems bad. You don't um, have tricks on board. So I'm just going to eat your Valley Dasher. Um, that would have been better to stay in your hand and at least threaten um, a thing. Okay, I only have Siege Rhino in the graveyard, so Dutiful Return, not great yet. Ponyback Brigade is great. What is Morphous 3? So 1, 2, 3. We still have enough for a Smite the Monstrous. Which is, I think, what we want to do. So we get it on the battlefield. We don't have enough to flip it in response. If they can kill it right now, based on what they draw, that's fine. Um, or they can sack the Skaldkin for it, which is also fine, because then I have dutiful return targets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Almost have enough to do the return and smite all at once. I don't mind if no attacks, if they throw the Scaldkin away for the morph, um, because it puts my flyers in a more dominant position. Um, this is kind of where we wanted the deck to go, is to run them out of resources, build a little bigger board and chip away. 
We're gonna have to be as aggressive as we can while protecting the life total. Um, oh, feet of resistance is beautiful. What does this cost to flip? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, which only leaves us two open, which would leave us a feat of resistance. Um, can, we can morph at end of turn for our opponent. The thing is, it's only still a 2 2. Um, it creates those goblins. No attacks. Uh, which let us go a little bit wider. It's not great. But again, we're. Ooh, that's a good card. Okay. Luckily, we have Smite the Monstrous. And we have Feet of Resistance. Because a flying 3 3 definitely is a problem. Okay. Here's where we go. Past the blockers. Um, block here. Block here. Two blockers. Opponent has nothing. They can Scaldkin. Uh, so I put the token um, here so that they have to trade the token. I get to keep the creature, which I guess I could have thrown the creature to then be able to, to do that. Um, however, I can uh, need a resistance. Give it protection from blue. Which lets me do that. I smite the monstrous. Oh, power four. Greater. Um, I didn't think about that. Okay, but our opponent decided that either way that was enough to uh, be able to chip through quicker than they could. Um, yeah, we kind of messed up on not being able to kill that. Um, little guy, or the 3-3, three, three, but it worked out because our opponent decided they didn't want to take the risk or continue seeing that one through. So, all right, we're one and one right now. Um, it's only two games, but it's just about our 30-minute mark here. We haven't made too many mistakes. Um, I might take a little bit of a break uh, between these uh, to rest my head um, on that, but thanks for joining. Hopefully, uh, we'll see you in the next ones. Uh, bye, everybody.